What is up guys? Aaron here, Curls in the Rack. Welcome back to another video. And today's video, we are going to be going through the modifications that I made to get the slinger stack onto these folding cross members that they're not really supposed to go onto, or they're not recommended to, but I haven't had any problems with it. I don't think you are either. Uh, I got a lot of emails in about this topic, so I thought, why not just do a follow-up video? And uh, that's what we're gonna do today. So let's get to it. All right guys, so first off, you either most likely have the 21 and a half inch cross members or you have the 41 and a half inch cross members since those are the two options that come with the folding racks from Rogue. Now, there's a ton of other folding racks. You can also use this method to throw it on a different folding rack that you have. It doesn't have to be Rogue, it's just happened to be what I have. Now this, cross members, actually not even the 21 and a half. This is a 19 inch uh, one. This is made so you can extend your full rack and then take it apart and fold it if you're done with it. But those are the pieces I had to work with. This is like 19 inches. But all the measurements, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna measure from that side over. And I'm actually gonna measure from right here and show you guys exactly where it needs to go. It should be noted that this is this modification is not only for the slinger stack. You can modify these um, cross members so that you can use them with the slinger and the bands or the slinger and the plate loaded version. Uh, the only hole that you're going to need to make, it's a lot easier actually, is uh, a one inch hole at the top. And I'll show you exactly where that's going to be because you need to be able to have the cable go down through the cross member on the top portion. But that's the only modification you need to make for that now if you're gonna do the slinger stack then we got one bolt here we got one bolt there we got one in the middle and same thing at the top so I'll show you guys the measurements on where those are and uh, we'll go from there okay so let's talk about the first and easiest modification that you well the only modification I should say that you're gonna to need to make if you have the plate loaded or the band version and that is to get this cable through here the measurement from the inside of this piece is nine and a half. So you come over nine and a half. Now you're going to need to take this piece off the wall. Don't try to do it up here. You will make a mistake. Don't d just take your time, get all this stuff off, anchor it to something sturdy, and then we're going to mark it. So you mark it on each side. Now, the reason I say you need to mark it on each side and not just try to drill straight through the thing is because when they make these, they take a piece of metal and then they fold it into a square, right? And then they weld the top portion. Well, when they weld the top portion, uh, and this is where you're gonna be drilling, exactly in the middle there, uh, is a piece of, you know, the solder or whatever comes through the other side. So if you are drilling from the other side, you will hit that lip and either go to the left or the right. So take your time. I know it seems like it'd be easier to just go straight through with the giant uh, drill, but don't do that. So what you wanna do is you wanna take this guy off, mark it on both sides. Then you're gonna to wanna to take a little drill bit, make a tiny hole. The measurements again are nine and a half over and one and a half. So this is a three inch cross member. One and a half is half of that. So that's exactly what you wanna do on both sides. Drill your small holes, both sides. And then here's a bit that I use that's gonna make this a lot easier for you and just chunk it out in a few minutes. All right guys, so I've showed this before in other videos, but this is called a step drill bit. It's called a step drill bit because there's like little stairs here, steps. Uh, what it does is basically you can get anywhere, any size hole you want because there's little measurements on here. And uh, what we're doing on this hole at the top portion of the cross member is we're gonna do a one inch hole. Now, it's gonna keep chunking it down and making it a little easier for you. And you can take it off and check and measure. Uh, but here's the thing. We can also do a 5 8 bit hole. So um, this works for both of those holes. And uh, let me tell you, it, looks, it works a lot better than a regular drill bit. It does not take as long. And uh, it's like $50 or maybe $40 or something like that. But it's definitely worth it for these kind of projects. All right, guys. So if you successfully made this hole, and that hole 
put the slinger back up, and the cable goes through. You put your two grommets on there, then, and you have the plate-loaded version. You are done. That is the only modification you need to do. You're good to go. But if you're still with me and you want to go ahead and do the slinger stack, I will go ahead and show you exactly what I did on that portion of it, and uh, let's go. Okay, so after I had my one inch hole on both sides, I then took these brackets. Now on mine, I had to cut the ends off the brackets because as you can see, this piece, it was jutting out to, you know, 24, it, it, the minimum this is supposed to go on is a 24 inch uh, cross member. So I had to cut it. So jigsaw, meh, all those pieces, the UHM plastic, uh, this guy right here, and then the one on the bottom as well. Now that I had it cut, uh, and this cross member is off, I lined up the hole that's already here in the UHM plastic and this piece, and I clamped it. I made sure it was even throughout both of the cross member, and then what I did was these holes would be open. They wouldn't have the bolts in there. I, I marked those exactly where they were on this side, took it off. I did it on the other side as well. Once I had those marked, I could remove that, and then I could make my 5 8 inch holes on the cross member. Did it the same way as I did the other one using that bit, the step bit, uh, and I did it each side. I did it this side, did it on the other side, that piece was done. I did the exact same thing on the bottom. All right, so the bottom portion, you're gonna do the exact same thing on the bottom portion. Now, when I originally did this, I made the mistake of not realizing that this guide rod here, the one that you put the, uh, the pin through and then to locks down the way, it also needs to go through here. It needs to go through the bottom of this because when um, you have all the weight on here, if you don't put that one inch hole, it will stick up like right about here. And so I found that out afterwards. I had to take the whole thing apart. But so I'm going to try to save you some time. Make sure you do the exact same nine and a half over uh, one inch hole in the middle for this guide rod. Uh, same thing on these two guys right here as you did at the top and you should be good to go well guys that's all i have for this video i know it's been sort of a short one but this was more of a video that i wanted to make for the people who were reaching out and maybe more in the future that see the slinger stack uh video that i did last uh so uh i'm gonna probably take that bench apart soon and uh, put it back together and show you guys exactly how to do it it just it has to fall on a day i don't need to use it so uh until next time guys peace